iOS 26 versus iOS 18. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of all the new features, so you'll know if upgrading is worth it or not. Liquid Clus, which is the highlight of iOS 26, starts right from the lock screen. When I wake up both the phones, iOS 26 clearly takes the crown here, and there's no reason not to like it. The clock has a strong depth effect, and this can also be resized, which isn't possible in iOS 18. Let's slide up to unlock, and iOS 26 has a new animation which looks far better than 18. And at the bottom you can see the liquid glass effect, and the built-in app icons has also dramatically changed, especially the camera. Let's try bringing down the lock screen slowly, and I gotta admit they have nailed the glass effect. When we drag down the control center, the same theme is visible, but here the text can be a little bit hard to see. But we can count on Apple to fix these issues in the future iOS updates. Now let's try customizing the icons and put in the liquid glass. There's a new clear option and also tinted just like iOS 18, but the one on iOS 26 is far different, which looks just like real glass. Just choose the accent matching with your wallpaper and it will turn out a banger. Now let's go ahead and open settings and the first thing that you'll notice is the search box has switched places from top to bottom. This gives us easier access to the search function and it also has the glass effect. There are some more small details such as the toggle button and the slider. Both of them shows off the liquid glass effect. Another subtle but useful change, on iOS 26 you can swipe right from anywhere to go back to the previous page, but on iOS 18 you'll have to swipe from the edges for it to work. The battery settings also got a revamp. You can now more clearly see your battery usage. Some of the battery settings such as the percentage toggle got relocated at the bottom and it doesn't show all the app usage by default, clearing out clutter. And now to view battery usage by app you need to click on view all battery usage, so there's less clutter. The most used camera app also got a redesign. When you first open the app, the first thing you'll notice is that the camera modes are less visible. In iOS 26, you can access all of them by swiping left to right like this. And there's your glass effect. And a very great change that they made is switching resolution and FPS while video recording. Instead of tapping painstakingly to cycle between options, you can just tap on it, then choose your desired settings, and boom, so much easier. To get access to less used features, you'll just need to swipe from the bottom, and a panel of glass will appear with all the settings. Speaking of taking photos, the gallery app also got some changes. Now it defaults to library where you can see all the photos in one place, instead of the year and month toggle like iOS 18. There's also the glass effect present in the UI. They also added a parallax effect which they call spatial scene. You just click on the toggle and it transforms your photo to a 3D scene which is really sweet. There's also some long overdue changes in the messages app. Now you can tap on a contact and you will see there's a new background option from where you can select a custom background for each of your contacts. Also there's the liquid glass effect while you move the cursor on a text box. And now you can also create polls in iMessages with iOS 26, so making decisions just got a lot easier. Finally, the Phones app also received some useful features with iOS 26. The one I like the most is called Screening. Just toggle the option on, and after that, whenever someone unknown calls you, they will hear this. Hi, if you record your name and reason for calling, I'll see if this person is available. Hi, this is Isaac. We have been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. So they'll have to identify themselves and their business. If something's fishy, you can banish them into oblivion. And there's also live transcriptions and translation while taking calls. And these are all the new iOS 26 features as of now. Let us know your favorite one and stay tuned for more updates.